The, the most important thing, though, is less the personality of who becomes Prime Minister and the horrible reality of what the Tories are doing to Scotland and indeed to the whole UK. Uh, Rishi Sunak or Penny Mordaunt, most likely Rishi Sunak, a week today is going to unleash another wave of austerity on Scotland. And that is horrific. It is a, a horror show that is deeply and profoundly concerning. You know, the Scottish Government is still dealing in our budget with the legacy of the last round of Tory austerity. We're dealing with the impact of soaring inflation on our budget. Our public services cannot withstand another wave of Tory austerity, so we need an alternative. And, and my message is it doesn't have to be like this. This is all happening because of Brexit and because of Tory economic mismanagement. There is a better alternative for Scotland if we get out of a situation where we have to put up with governments we don't vote for and start to take Scotland down the path we want it to go down, not the path, the wrong path that Tories and UK governance generally is taking us down. Look, of course there should be a general election. You know, the, the governance of any country cannot simply be a revolving door um, that one party gets to you know, pick time and time again who occupies the, the highest office uh, in the, the land. It's, it's preposterous democratically. I accept that parties will change leader at times between the elections. That happened when I became uh, First Minister. But I then went on to lead my party to general election landslide within six months, to a Scottish election victory within 18 months. But the Tories can't keep changing who occupies number 10 without any democratic legitimacy. So of course there should be a general election. Do I think that's going to happen, that the Tories are voluntarily going to uh, concede that? No, I don't. Uh, what worries me more than anything is not what might happen today in terms of who's next in the door of Downing Street. It's what is going to happen a week today when that next wave of Tory austerity is unleashed on people. I'd expect in any uh, you know, normal government, uh, I'm not sure it can be said with any uh, sort of seriousness that that is what the UK government is right now, but in any normal government, of course, you'd have a Prime Minister reaching out to the First Ministers across the UK. Will the next Prime Minister do it? That's a matter for them. But, you know, people in Scotland will draw their own conclusions from the way in which Prime Ministers interact with devolved governments.